Hi there book lovers, I have a book review for you today and it is Secrets of the Lighthouse by Santa Montefiore. Uh, Santa Montefiore, despite her rather Italian sounding name, is actually an English writer. Uh, I've read I think a couple of her books before and they are good reads and uh, I did enjoy this one. So, Secrets of the Lighthouse. It's about a woman called Emma who has grown up with uh, in a very privileged family with a rather overbearing mother who has kind of encouraged her to marry well into, uh, and she's now engaged to another privileged person. Um, and their family is very much about wealth and power. And Emma feels she doesn't fit in with this and she's doubting whether she should be married to this guy. She knows that her mother came from Ireland and that her mother has an Irish aunt who she never speaks to. And so Emma, feeling completely fed up, completely out of things, decides she's going to run away from her life and go and visit her aunt in Connemara in Ireland. And this is where the book really takes place. And by the way, it takes place mainly in February. So if, like me, you like a seasonal read, then uh, it's not too late to get this for a good February read. So when she, she gets to Ireland, she finds uh, not only does she have an aunt, Peg, who she stays with, but she also has several uncles and lots of cousins. And she feels she begins to get to know these people, her family that she didn't know she had, and she feels that she really fits in. Now, the other part of the story is about a mystery and it's about secrets. Nearby is a ruined lighthouse and Emma discovers that about five years ago a tragedy happened there. The wife of local man, Connor McCausland, died in a fire at the lighthouse. Some people think that Connor murdered her. Some people don't. So it's a bit of a mystery when people don't really know what happened. Emma meets Connor McCausland and they fall in love. All seems well, but there is another element to this book. It's not just a, a book about secrets and love. It's also a ghost story. Right from the start in the prologue, the ghost of Caitlin McCausland, the wife who died, is there, she's there with them all. She floats around. Nobody knows she's still around. And she has decided to stay with her husband, who she passionately loved. And also she wants to stay with her two children. But she is kind of earthbound with these very strong human emotions that are, are more selfish and self-serving than real selfless love. And of course, when Emma comes on the scene, she's filled with jealousy and rage. And although people don't sense her, it's not, it's not a kind of ghost story where there's a kind of scary haunting or anything. She decides to try and break Emma and Connor apart. That's as far as I'm going to go because I don't want to spoil things for you. Uh, so it's a really good read. I did enjoy it. And particularly towards the end, it's a real page turner. It's a story of, as I said, it's a story about family secrets. There are secrets concerning Emma's mother, her cousins, and it's a story of obsession. It's a story about love, but love in different guises. It's a book about the futility, if you like, of, 
of self-serving love you know, and obsession and the power of long enduring love as well. There are lots of elements in it that I haven't mentioned because I don't want to spoil it for you. Um, but ultimately, it is very, very uplifting and lovely. It's a lovely story. I did really enjoy reading it. So, if you've not read Santa Montefiore before, uh, I do recommend her writing. She does write just really lovely stories with very satisfying endings. And if you like stories about love, about family secrets, mysteries, or if you just love books that set in the wild, beautiful countryside and coastline of Ireland, then this book is really for you. Now, just as a little extra, I went grocery shopping yesterday and in uh, the supermarket I was in, they have a little charity stand of books. And I was going to walk past it because I've got so many books. But then I saw uh, this. <laughs> it's A Dangerous Fortune by Ken Follett. Now, Ken Follett is an author that I've got on my list of authors I want to read. So I couldn't walk past it and it was just one pound. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. It's uh, set in Victorian England and it looks really interesting. So um, that's a little, uh, a little buy I had yesterday. God knows when I'm going to uh, read it. It's going to go into my groaning TBR shelves. <laughs> but I'm so glad I have finally bought a Ken Follett book. Just some extra things. It's my birthday on Monday. I always take my birthday day off. I'm going to probably go out somewhere with Chile if the weather's nice. Then I've got a load of client work to do. So I may not be doing another video until the end of next week. But I'm hoping it's getting a bit spring-like out there. And the daffodils are already opening in my neighbourhood. The crocuses are out. I think it's time for a spring list, don't you? So keep subscribed, do subscribe, and uh, I will be back with a good old spring list very soon. Bye for now.